Alright, this is going to be another impressions video, much like I did with my Metal Gear Solid impressions, but this is more of an impressions based off of what I see from an unfinished product, as I am going to be talking today about the Star Wars Battlefront beta. Now, I know, I know, I bashed this six months ago, said I wasn't going to get it just because of all the bullshit that they were trying to pull for EA, but you know what, they're giving us a free glimpse into their game, so you might as well take it with a grain of salt and go into it with an objective standpoint. So, this is what I think about Star Wars Battlefront beta. That's what this video is going to detail on. So, is it good? Is it bad? Is it ugly? Well, it's certainly not ugly, I will tell you that right now. None of the Battlefronts really are, well, two to a minor extent, but that's beside the point. This Battlefront, for all intents and purposes, is very stripped down. And I can even tell that by just how the game plays. I mean, there's only a few maps that are available on the beta. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more in the main game. But a lot of the stuff on there is just completely grayed out. The title menu feels very bland. It feels very generic. There's some music playing in the background, but it's so low that you have to practically turn your volume up to, you know, up to half in order to hear it. So I had to I had to turn my volume up to like 30 or 40 in order to hear the, the music that I could have heard on the original games at about 8 or 9 or 10 for the volume, of course. But aside from that, the bland menus aside and everything, the customization really just isn't there. You get these battle card things that you have to unlock by uh, going into different battles, different modes, different drop zones, and waves and such. Actually, I don't think you can unlock them in the waves mode, but I don't really know the name for that one, but you know, whatever. Um, after you unlock stuff, after you move up to rank 2, 3, 4, or whatever, I don't know how many ranks you can get in the beta. I'm at rank 2, haven't really played that much, but I did get an idea for what I was playing. Um, once you get up to that point, you can unlock more stuff, but all of this just feels very hollow, as the only weapon you can really get in the beta that I've noticed is the blaster rifle. Everything else is just power-ups. That's basically the, the blunt of sad but honest truth. I mean, you can get other weapons, you can get a jetpack. I've, you know, messed around with the jetpack a little bit on Tatooine. You can get a uh, grenade launcher, but for the grenade launcher, at least, it fires three grenades, but it's a power-up weapon. It's a side weapon. All you do is fire the three grenades and it's kind of like the rocket launcher where it fired three rockets in Battlefront 1 and 2 for the Rebel Vanguard. It's kind of like that. But the problem with this is, the grenade launcher, is it has an insane recharge time where the card, you, you actually have this on a battle card. You can't use it, use it as a main weapon. It's a card, like a power-up. So it has an insane charge time. You might as well not even use it. I tried taking on an at, -AT or an AT, uh, ST, I think it is, whichever one it is with in uh, the waves where you're trying to defend this escape pod. But tried taking one of those on, couldn't do it with the uh, with the grenade launcher. I had to switch to my blaster rifle and just go underneath it. These things are so completely unbalanced. And if there's a way to maybe upgrade this stuff, I don't know because, like I said, I'm just giving a first impressions on the beta. And if I do end up getting the game, I will review it, of course, but for all intents and purposes, this game feels very empty. All the battlefields are very, very boring and generic. The modes, I gotta say the only mode I really had any enjoyment out of was the one where you're fighting against waves of soldiers. And even then, that's really generic, you know? Drop zone is fucking retarded because all you do is run at a, an escape pod. One escape pod comes down. There's 16 players in a match and, um, you know, eight to a side. And no matter what, you're all running towards the same place. So, of course, you're going to get killed in like two seconds because there's going to be people right on top of you pretty much every move you make, anywhere you go. Because if you try to go around, someone else is going to get that pod and they're going to get a point. Three points, you win. And pretty much every time I've played, it's been a draw. So <laughs> there's got to be some rebalancing on this beta or on this game in general in order for me to really 
get into it or be able to get into it. But, you know, as far as that goes, though, as far as weapons go, as far as customization go, goes, I have one thing to ask. Where are the classes? You only have one character, there's no classes, and basically you customize his appearance, I suppose. You customize his armor, maybe, and his clothes and his emblem, and you can customize his, uh, his loadout for his weapons, much like in Metal Gear Solid Five, I would assume. Really, that's what it reminds me of, is, you know, the loadout menu reminds me of the loadout menu for Metal Gear Solid Five, but just not as cool looking, <laughs> I suppose. Um, in general, though, all you do is customize a loadout. You don't have the ability and the thrill of just picking a strategic class like you would in the first two games. So, it's just, overall, I'm a little disappointed. Um, the maps are very, very, bl um, just bare. There's really nothing to do in any of them. Um... Tatooine, it feels like it's like Dune Sea, but a, with a little bit more rocky rockiness to it, I suppose. And the only thing to take cover through is the uh, is the terrain. There's really nothing to it. I mean, it's just it's boring, and it just feels like they didn't put any effort into it aside from the graphical polish. The graphics, don't get me wrong, this game is freaking beautiful. This game is gorgeous. Probably one of the better games on the PlayStation 4, with the exception of Grand Theft Auto V. And the gameplay and the feel of everything, the feel of the controls, the fluidity, and, you know, firing your shots off, everything feels very real. So I'm going to get into a little bit of positives, of course. Everything feels very real. The firing your shots with the, uh, the blaster as it hits an enemy soldier just feels very real, and you can just feel that impact even more than more so than before in the PS2 version. And I think, honestly, this game benefits from not having an auto-aim. So, overall, I'm a little disappointed in this, though, be just because of how bare it is. But it is a beta. Um, if they have a demo, I will be playing that as well. And if I like it, I will get the game. So, this is Midnight Strike 3625. Download the beta. Judge it for yourself. It's free. As always, keep calm and rock on.